The Reverse Metal Team is one of Genshin's hidden OP meta team. However, with the release of Shunha, its popularity has been rising. So today, we're going to talk about what is the Reverse Metal Team and how to play it. And of course, before we start, if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to do so. Let's get started. Starting off, the Reverse Metal Team used two Pyro and two Crowd character, usually in Rosaria, Kaya, Bennett, and then Xiang Ling. However, there is possible replacement. For example, you can replace either the Bennett or Xiang Ling with Klee, or recently, again, with the release of Shanha, which really popular is replacing the Kaya here with the Shanha and doing Rosaria and Shanha instead of Rosaria and Kaya. Although you could use a different crowd, such as once again Kaya here or Chongyun here as well. These are all possible variation of the reverse melt team. As the name implied, the reverse melt team uses the reverse melt reaction to do majority of its damage by applying a lot of pyro infusion onto the enemy using a bandit and Shangli, and then reverse melting it using Kaya and Rosaria. Conveniently, this team only uses 4 star character and does not require a Anemo or a Hydro character. And therefore, this team is actually extremely popular when it comes to any of the 4 stars only challenge as this will free up your Sucrose who is the Anemo character and Sinchus who is the Hydro character for the other team. So usually when people are doing 4 stars only challenge, they actually run this team here and then run a Sucrose Taser team with Sucrose, Beta Official, Sinchus on the other side. And it's by far the most common, also the most successful setup. Now this team has a primary weakness and that is Rosaria Elemental Birds is a deployable on the ground. That means it does not follow you and it only dropped into one spot. While it had good radius, it's hard to guarantee it to hit for the entire duration on enemy that is very mobile and especially since you don't have an Animo character, grouping enemy onto the Rosaria Elemental Burst could be difficult. And so this team might not be that well against enemy that are super mobile, but for the majority of the part, it should be fine. An additional thing to call is that constellation-wise, you can play this team on C0 on all your characters. However, having C2 on Rosaria is highly recommended as it increases your duration by 4 seconds. Likewise, having C4 on your Xiangling is also highly recommended, but to be honest, you should have C4 Xiangling no matter what anyway now. Days. The basic rotation looked like the following. Starting off with Bennett Elemental Burst and then Xiangling Elemental Burst to snapshot the Bennett buff and also dropping Gobert in the meantime. And then Rosaria Elemental Skill for the critical rate bonus into your entire party and making sure that you're still on Bennett Elemental Burst, dropping Rosaria Elemental Burst to also snapshot the Bennett Elemental Burst buff. Next up, we're gonna do the same thing with Kaya, which is dropping Kaya Elemental Skill and Elemental Burst. And then we're gonna switch back to Bennett to tap Bennett Elemental Skill for the Pyro Energy. And at this point, we're gonna switch back to Rosaria to cast her elemental skill as well to generate some crowd energy for the next rotation. And likewise, we're also going to do the same with Kaya casting Kaya elemental skill. Now notice that each one of this is able to melt because of Pyro Nato rapid pyro infusion. We're able to melt every single one of us attack including Rosaria elemental skill and Kaya's elemental skill as well doing a bunch of damage. And then switching back to the Bennett finally generating the last pyro energy, dropping the Bennett elemental burst. At this point, you want to switch to Rosaria first to first generate a little bit more energy because you are still a little bit off. So you're going to do a Rosaria Elemental Skill first and then a Kaya Elemental Skill. Now always make sure that you are using Rosaria Elemental Skill first before Kaya if you're trying to melt. The reason is because look at this. So starting with the Bennett Elemental Skill, Rosaria, and then Kaya. You're able to melt every single attack, including two instances with a melt on the Rosaria and then one instance with a melt on Kaya. However, if you do this other way around, which Bennett, Kaya, and Rosaria, you notice that I'm unable to actually melt all of it and the enemy actually have a crowd infusion on top at the end. This is because of elemental gauge tree, which I'll not dive into it. However, basically just know that the math work this way and you have to do Rosaria first before Kaya in order to melt every attack. Likewise, if you're playing with Shanha, very similar concept. Starting with Shanha Elemental Skill, moving on to Bennett Elemental Burst, doing a bunch of melt damage and then casting the Shanha Elemental Burst here as well. Finally, we will cast the Shangling Elemental Burst and then switching to Rosaria and then casting the Elemental Skill and Burst, subshotting every single buff onto our Rosaria including the Shanha Elemental Burst buff, Shanha A4 Palin buff, Bennett buff, and as well as the 4 set Noblest buff as well as the Rosaria elemental skill buff and then we just do a bunch of melt damage using rosaria elemental burst and of course in the meantime we'll tap our bennett elemental skill for energy funneling and then rosaria and chanha elemental skill as well and that's pretty much it 
Overall, piloting this game is extremely simple, even if you're using other crowd characters like Chong Yun here instead of Rosaria for the cousin and T synergy. You pretty much just want to cast Shangling Elemental Burst, which gives you a lot of pyro infusion, and then you will just cast every single one of your crowd elemental skill and burst so that you can melt off them. And when you're done with Shangling Elemental Burst, just simply cast every single one of your skill again to funnel crowd energy into your crowd character, and then pyro energy into your power character, and then you just repeat. Extremely simple to pilot, very very easy, only like one or two you have to pay attention to, which is pretty much the order that you cast your elemental burst because it is important to ensure that you snapshot every single one of your buff onto Shangling or Rosaria. Building this team is pretty much the same as always. On Shanha, I use the 4 set Noblest here. This will allow my Bennett to use actually use the 4 set Crimson Witch. 4 set Crimson Witch is really good because your elemental skill has such a short cooldown, you can get max stack on it. And because you use your elemental skill a lot, doing damage on Bennett is actually really appreciated. And then on your Shangling, you want Four set elbow pretty much always with a ER weapon either engulfing like link or phony lens. Uh, something to call is that of course elemental mastery on channeling don't matter in this team since you cannot do reaction or rather you don't do reaction on channeling and rather you do reaction on your crowd character. So you want to push as high ER as possible because that is your bottleneck but also because then you can get elemental burst damage bonus on your channeling. Finally the most important character to talk about is your crowd character either that be Rosaria or Kaya. Starting off Rosaria which is the more common one on my weapon, I run a Dragon Bane. Elemental Mastery on your Rosaria is really really good because you're consistently doing a lot of melt damage and Elemental Mastery scale really well when you're doing melt damage. Uh, this is especially true when it comes to a weapon like Dragon Bane because the Dragon Bane passive increased the damage by 36% if your opponent's affected by Pyro. However, your opponent will always be affected by Pyro if you're playing the team properly so you'll always get this bonus which makes Dragon Bane just a super super good weapon on your Rosaria in this team. But otherwise, of course, you have the typical other weapons such as Staff of Homa, Deathmatch, or even the Catch, which apparently I still do not have the Catch. And on the Artifact, I'm running two Noblest and two Blizzard Trier, since the majority of the damage come from your Rosaria. If you can run four-piece Lava Walker, it is actually better. However, four-piece Lava Walker is rather difficult to farm as you have to farm for the Crimson Witch domain. And of course, the same thing as always, critical rate, crowd damage bonus. And on your Sands, once again, if you're running a Dragon Bane Sand, then you want to run Attack Sands because then you have too much Elemental Mastery if you run an EM Sands. But if you're not running a Dragon Bane and you're missing Elemental Mastery, for example, in this case, only at 35, make sure that you run a Elemental Mastery instead. Aim for about 200 to 300 Elemental Mastery is a really, really good point to stop. Otherwise, anything that gives you the highest damage stat is fine. For example, like two Gladiator, two Cryo, two Gladiator, two Shimanawa, even uh, whatever have the best substat will work for you. Something important to call out on Kaya versus other crowd character like Chongyun or Rosari is that Kaya could benefit a little bit more from attack or rather Kaya benefit less from elemental mastery. This is because Kaya elemental bursts have ICD in it so it only melts one out of every three hit. And when you don't do a melt reaction, elemental mastery does nothing for your damage and therefore attack could actually be more beneficial. Luckily for us, the Lion Raw, which have the passive that increased our damage by 36% against opponent affected by Pyro, have attack percent substat. So that's a good news and then I don't know, we could still run the Elemental Mastery sense. It's not that Elemental Mastery is useless on Kaya, but I just want to call it out that it is less effective, meaning that it is not obvious if you should push for Elemental Mastery or not depending on what you're building. The best solution here is just to use the Optimizer. Otherwise, if you don't want to use the Optimizer, I would aim for about 100 to 200 Elemental Mastery. If you're not running with Chunha, then what you could actually do is move the 4 set Noblest onto Rosaria, as Rosaria used the 4 piece set really really well, since the 2 piece already give your Elemental Burst damage anyway and the 4 piece set can actually benefit Rosaria as her she have a long elemental burst animation. Other than that you could just always resolve to the default which is putting your noblest onto your Bennett and this is the easiest you don't have to worry about it too much because you will always start with Bennett elemental burst so that it will guarantee you to have the 4 set noblest into your entire party but otherwise if you're truly looking to min max something worth considering is the 4 piece instructor on Bennett as well which gives your entire party 120 elemental mastery. This works especially well when you're running with Shanha because Elemental Mastery is really really beneficial for your Rosaria as I mentioned earlier. However, you don't have to after an instructor is a 4 piece set, meaning you probably lose a good amount of substat on your Bennett which is might not be worth it. Overall, this team is rather straightforward to play. You just cast all your elemental skill and burst and call it a day. No rhyme intended. But with that being said, this is also going to be a rather straightforward video. It's pretty much just a basic rundown of the team but more importantly, it's just letting you guys know about the team and the discovery of the team. This team 
has been a thing ever since Rosaria first came out, but it was never really popularized. So today, that's what I'm doing. But you're pretty much gonna see this team being ran every single time there's like four star only challenge, simply because it just used unit really, really well, as it doesn't require a hydro or a unnemo character, as I mentioned at the beginning video. With that being said, if you're someone with limiting account with limiting character, this is definitely one of the team you need to try out, and it's just so powerful using only four star character, but doesn't use to gross or seeing chills. And with that being said, as always, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.